I'm gonna try this. What the heck? Why not? What the? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't here yesterday. I was trying to actually be a human being again yesterday. I went out and you know, did some stuff like do shopping and went to lunch with my sister. All I, I saw a spiritual advisor and I just ran out of time yesterday. So. Sorry about that. Um, I kind of, I, I, I'm the guy who keeps preaching. I don't want to do this every day. And then I, I keep going to be human and missing days. And it's like, well, I'm kind of torn because it's like, I really want to be a human being, but I really want to do this too. So uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's all going to work out. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I kind of wanted to uh, be with a cinnamon girl or something. <laughs> And we're going to do this with two different tunings. I have this guitar, which is standard tuning, just ED, you know, and uh, then I have that one. Somebody said that it was drop D tuning for this song. So I'm going to play it both ways that I learned it and see how you guys feel about it and uh, see what you guys like better. <laughs> There's that. Mm, that was horrible, but let's see if we can do a little bit better with the drop D. Helps if you actually unplug the guitar first. Uh, but then, yeah, I, I just have this other guitar over here. Um, I cleaned it up and all sorts of good stuff and and uh, turned it to drop D and then just kind of left it that way. Um, so it's been like hanging on the wall, just kind of waiting for me. And I was like, oh, wait, I do have a drop D guitar. Hold on a second. So... You have to play it differently though because with the drop D that one's just two. So you have to play basically open chords after Oh that was the other part is you can't can't play the full bar chord there because it sounds like crap. But if you go You're golden, man, you're golden. So So that's that's pretty much what that is. And I'll give you my opinion. I actually think it does sound better with the drop D, but um, I, I'm probably probably I'm probably just gonna play it with the uh, regular tuning because it's uh, a lot of times it's like you know what do you want to play and you don't actually have a just a drop D guitar hanging around, you know? So um, I, I, I think it might be might be more wise for me to play it just on, you know, with, with the regular tuning, just because it, that that's more prevalent around. Anyways, 
Oh yeah, and also please don't play bar chords like me because yes, I am playing I'm playing F over here and using my my thumb, well, sort of my thumb, because that's why I say don't look at me when I when you do that because when I. When I play these bar chords and I put my thumb over here, it looks like my thumb is on the fret above it, but it's my, my, my thumb actually goes so far over. It's not funny. It's actually right over here where I hit the fretboard. So, um, it has nothing to do with my thumb. So you're just seeing something that isn't there. Um, It's just easier for me for because for some reason with a really long thumb, if I play bar chords for too long, my thumb starts to hurt a lot. So it's like it's that pressing up against the back of the. So that that's why I I do it for for relief. And only on chords, only on the chords where I don't really need uh, the, the trebly side of it. Because if I need a trebly side, I'll totally switch to traditional bar chords. But if you only need the bass side. Anyways, I think I've babbled on for too long or around these parts. Uh, somebody made a comment about... Um, about the uh, the angry dude shtick and it's like i just read the comment and i'm like yeah, i actually wish it was a shtick because that would be lovely that would mean i could stop it that would mean i could get rid of it that would mean at some point in time it wouldn't be here and that would be lovely um this really is it i like i found out man it's it's with the the cancer treatment i have neuro neurological problems in my brain in the first place that i'm fighting through and then i got covid on top of it which reminds me i gotta test myself again because i think i'm over it but um i had a little tiny pink line and then i gotta test myself again i think i'm over it but i just gotta make sure anyways but uh that also causes neurological issues so you put that on top of the stuff i already had and my brain literally exploded and then and it took for a while for me to get back from that. And for me, that's why I said, well, why is this billed as a as a respiratory disease? My lungs are OK. It's my head that I had the problem with. So, you know, I don't know. And I found out from a lot of people who've already had covid like my friend Jeff. He, he was like, oh, yeah, man, I had this brain fog and he, he's still some things he can't taste very well. So, you know, I, I'm super happy that that didn't happen to me. Um, and I'm super sad that it did happen to him. But uh you know, it's like yeah, I, there are other issues other than the respiratory thing that that this this COVID crap, you know, messes with. So um, anyways, I'm going to leave that there and there and stuff there because I babble too much. Anyways, I hope you all can like, comment, and subscribe because I am looking to build this a little bit more. Get that up there to a thousand subscribers. I want to give away guitar when i reach a thousand subscribers i don't know which one yet but we'll figure it out then and uh when you guys get me a little bit closer i'll pack more and we'll get there oh i did have one more thing that i, I was working on because as my brain is here um i do get to doing some of the luthier stuff again um i know i was gonna say i have too many guitars that's not really the case but uh this one here this was just a uh an a old guitar that I think I found this on uh, on um, Goodwill, and uh, basically I had to tear the whole thing down. Um, the the neck is okay. the the uh, The wood underneath is a little bit weird, but the frets are fine and the neck is straight. Um, I have this this pick guard that that is not really the exact size for this, um, but I, it'll definitely work. Um, and the pick guard that came on this thing, I'm going to have to fill in some holes here just because it had a different pick guard, you know, specific to this guitar itself. Um, and it wasn't just like a Strat one like I got here. Uh, but, um, yeah, the thing that's stopping me right now, the only thing that's stopping me, I have plates for the back of Strats all over the place. I don't even like Strats. 
this one needs a traditional just a plate that goes around so i i could have swore i had one because swore i had a bunch of them but i don't so i'm gonna have to go to amazon for that one and that that that's one of those things where i'm gonna have to order multiples because they're they're so cheap i don't think they'll sell you just one because it's like 35 cent no 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 we're gonna sell you five so yeah <laughs> so but uh i gotta go get that worked out and that all is contingent on my brain working and so um I hope to get back to that, but I'm not positive if I will be able to until I get over some of the chemo side effects after well, after tomorrow. So um, we'll, we'll get there and we'll see what happens. But uh, again, like I said, I'm trying to cram two days in one day. So um, I'm going to leave it there and say I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. Thank you. Thank, thank you for watching and stuff. Um, and I'll see you then. Peace. Hopefully tomorrow, probably from the hospital. Peace.